This Ridlio is sponsored by InfinitCoin.com. Somebody is in a wheelchair, they come up the handicap ramp. push the button and that acknowledges inside to the people they come to the door and let them in. I can't get up there. Yeah. Nobody else can. Well uh, as, can I as get you... permission for him to record me going through the dumb waiter, etc.? No. No? Huh? No, because that's a security area. Okay. So uh, as you know, you have called many times and we come to the door immediately. You call and I come out. So uh so you know, somebody that's, else wants that's... to come, they call and we'll come out. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, and you, as you, you as need, you know you need we, a sign over here. We are uh, we are at that door within 90 seconds. <laughs> no, that's okay. just now. No, that's every time I've been here, sir. Every time I've been here, I've been to that door within 90 seconds. Yeah, go ahead. Got to be lifted. I won't walk without it. And they call this ADA compliant. So it's about 90 seconds after you saw that video of him starting to get into court and he still hasn't made it to the courtroom, but I tell you what, uh, I was pretty impressed with, uh, uh, you know, when I came into the, into the uh, lobby way of the court and so forth, I was pretty impressed with the way I was handled. So at this point it's about, I guess it would be about five minutes after he entered the uh, lift, uh, the, you know, the ramp downstairs. So I wasn't allowed in the area that you see back there. Uh, they call it a secured area, so it's hard for me to see what kind of accessibility there was back there. But uh, in terms of accessibility for journalists, uh, I thought this is this is the best experience I've had so far in a courtroom. Although we're only a few minutes into it. All right, so maybe I spoke too soon. There is a restriction on uh, filming during recess up there, uh, so that's not good. But it only took them about. 30 seconds to approve me to go in, you know, I had a little, uh, something I'd written up, uh, permissions request or whatever you want to call it, to film, and they were very quick to process that and pretty quick to let me into the courtroom to set up my gear and get electricity and everything, uh, even though they were, you know, uh, also involved with uh, getting Wallace into the courtroom. So Vermont, unlike New Hampshire, has no wiretapping law. There is, um, it's, it's almost like the law is silent on the issue. Vermont law seems to treat the whole business the same way it treats concealed carry of a firearm. Yeah, you know, it's almost like uh, there's no people here yet, so we haven't gotten around to dealing with that in law yet. I guess about 250 years after the Battle of Bennington, and there's still only, and there's still, I guess, only about 500,000 people who live in Vermont. Driving up here to Montpelier from Lebanon, it was almost like there was no, it was like there were no towns between Montpelier and Lebanon. 
and it was an almost 60 mile drive. You can sense almost immediately too how people are just look a little different here from how they look in New Hampshire. I don't know, maybe they just look more hippie. Infinite Coin, the cryptocurrency that aims to provide cheap peer-to-peer -peer infrastructure in developing countries. Their motto, real money for real people. IFC is traded on beater.com. That means it's easily converted into Bitcoin. I accepted Infinite Coin for this ad. That means you can too. InfiniteCoin.com